so the first problem we'll solve is finding duplicates in an array so the question is pretty simple you are given an array of size n which contains elements from 0 to n minus 1 which contains elements from 0 to n minus 1 you need to find all the elements occurring more than once in the given array so you are given an array of n elements and each element is within the range 0 to n minus 1 you will need to find all the elements that are occurring more than once in the given array right so all the elements that are occurring more than once you have to find those elements so that's that's there uh, now here we have four elements 0 3 1 2 in this case uh, we output the output is minus 1 because no, none of the elements is occurring more than once right 0 3 1 2 all of the elements are occurring once only so that's why minus 1 if we have 2 3 1 2 3 the output will be 2 3 right the output will be 2 3 because uh, okay in case if there is no we have to return a minus 1 as in the vector the output is minus 1 okay uh, 2 3 1 2 3 in that case 2 is repeating right 2 is repeating and 3 is also repeating so we have to return 2 3 okay so this is the question now the uh, expected time and space complexity are order of n order of n and constraints are 10 to the power 5 right within 10 to the power 5 so how can we do this so one idea is you can use a hash map or a hash set and you can get it done but in our case we uh, yeah we kind of need a hash map although not exactly a hash map we can just have an array right all the elements are within the size a of i all the array elements are within the size of n minus 1 right so we can create a frequency array we can create a frequency array of size n we can create a frequency array of size n and we can do initially everything can be zero so initially we can have everything to be zero and we can do frequency of a of i plus plus right so this is the most optimal like this, not the most optimal this is the most easiest we can do we can have a frequency of n of size uh, size n and initially everything can be zero and we can do frequency of a of i plus plus so for example if you have one two three two three in this case we have the frequency array right frequency array will be there uh, frequency array of size 3 and uh, 4 so we can have 0 like the frequency 0 1 2 3 uh, initially everything is 0 we will go through all the elements one by one so first of all we will come to 1 and we will set frequency of 1 plus plus so frequency of 1 becomes frequency of 1 becomes 1 after that we come to 2 frequency of 2 plus plus so frequency of 2 becomes 1 after that we come to 3 frequency of 3 plus plus so frequency of 3 becomes 1 after that we go to 2 again frequency of 2 plus plus frequency of 2 becomes 2 after that we come to 3 frequency of 3 also becomes 2 so this is one way we can do right and uh, basically all the elements that are frequency of i all the elements where frequency of i is greater than 1 those are repeated right so we can just report those elements where frequency of i is greater than 1 that's that's one way and that's the easiest way now what is the complexity the time complexity is order of n the space complexity we are creating an array of size n only so it's also order of n so it does meet our constraints but again we can do much better than this in fact we can get rid of the space complexity and we can get a order of one space complexity as well so what we can do is just think all the elements are within all the elements are within n minus 1 so if you do a of i divided by n how much would you get you would get 0 for any element because all the elements are within n minus 1 so if you divide by n you would get 0 ok so that's one observation to keep in mind now what we will do here is what we will do here is we will use the same array for like we want to know the frequency right we want to store the frequency somewhere we want to store the frequency somewhere what i am suggesting here is instead of creating a different frequency array we can use the same array for storing the frequency how every time you get some ai you get some ai right 
you update the index of AI in the same array. The same array has a size of n, so definitely it can handle this. So you will update this index a of i in the array pi plus equals to n. So in frequency, what did you do? Plus equals to n. In frequency, we did frequency of a of i plus equals to 1. Here instead, we'll do plus equals to n. So what will happen with this? Now, let's say there is some ai. Let's say ai equals to 5. 5 has occurred 3 times. 5 has occurred 3 times. So what would we have done? We would have done a of 5 plus equals to n 3 times. So a of 5 will be equals to 3n plus initial value of 5, right? Initial value of a of 5. This is the initial value. Let's call it a dash 5 initial value. Now this initial value is less than n within less than n like within 0 to n minus 1. So if we divide this entire thing by n, what do we have? 3n by n is 3 plus previous value of a of 5 by n which will be 0 because a of 5 is within 0 to n minus 1. So it will give you 3 which is equals to the frequency of 5, right? Which is equals to the frequency of 5. So we can use the same array for actually uh, storing the count, uh, frequency. So let's actually take this with an example. Let's understand this with an example. So we'll take an array of size 4. Let's say 2, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. These are the indices, right? And what is n? n equals to 4, n equals to 4, right? So first element, what do we have? We have 2, we have 2. So what we will do? We will do a of 2 plus equals to n. a of a of i plus equals to n. In Because basically we are using this a array itself to store the frequency. But to store the frequency, there should be a way to distinguish between the actual array value, values and the frequency part, right? So we know that all the array values are within n minus 1. So if you divide them by n, they will turn to be 0. So we will increment by n so that if we divide by n, we get the actual frequency value. Uh, so a of 2 plus equals to n. So a of 2 that is 3 plus equals to n means plus 4. So a of 3 plus 4 is 4 plus 3 is 7. 7, right? Then we have 1. A of 1 plus equals to n. A of 1 plus equals to n means 1 plus 4 is 5. Then we come to 7. Now we have 7 here, right? Why do we have 7 here? Because we had a 2 here and we got the frequency of 2 added here. So we have to take out the actual array value. How do we take out the actual array value? We can just divide it by, we can just find the remainder modulo n. Why remainder modulo n? Because it will be in the form of some k into n plus the actual value a dash i. This is the a dash i is the actual value of i. So if you take the remainder modulo n, this will not give a remainder because this is a multiple of n. So this remainder will turn to be 0. It will give a dash i modulo n. Now a dash i is less than n. So this will basically be a dash i itself. So you can get the actual array value by modulo n. So we'll do a modulo 4 here, 7 modulo 4. What is 7 modulo 4? 7 modulo 4 is 3. So the actual array value is 3. Remember there was 3 here, right? So we will increment plus 4. We'll do a of 3 plus equals to 4. a of 3 plus equals to 4. n, right? So 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 plus 2 is 6. Now we will come to this. Again, we'll do modulo n. Modulo n, how much do we get? 4 modulo 6 will be 2, 6 modulo 4 will be 2. So a of 2 plus equals to n, a of 2 plus equals to n that is it is 7, 7 plus 4, 11. So we get 11 here, right, we get 11 here. Now we want the actual frequencies, right, now we want the actual frequencies of all the elements. What we will do is we'll convert this array, we'll divide all the indices by n, we'll divide all the indices by n to get the frequency. So 0, 2 divided by 4 is 0. So 0, the frequency of 0 is 0. 5 divided by 4 is 1. So the frequency of 1 is indeed 1. 11 divided by 4 is 2. 4 to the 8, so 2. 
so the frequency of 2 is indeed 2 right we saw that the frequency of 2 was 2 6 divided by 4 is 1 so frequency of 3 is 1 so we know that only 2 is a repeated element so 2 is a repeated element So now what is the complexity? The complexity is order of n time complexity and space we are not needing any extra space we are modifying the existing array. So order of 1 space complexity. Right? Okay. Let's do. So what we'll do? For int i equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus. We'll take the array value out. What is the array value? ARR of i modulo n, right? That will be the array value. Now we will do what? ARR of val plus equals to n. We'll just do that. And finally, i equals to 0, i less than n, i plus plus ARR i. And we'll also store the answers here. So vector int answer. So answer dot uh, so no if uh, so arr of i divided by equals to n so if arr of i is greater than uh, is greater than one in that case answer dot pushback i uh, yes I'll dry run on this I'll dry run on this code answer dot pushback i and return answer right return answer. I think minus one will give some problem. Uh, so let's see if answer is negative. If answer dot size equals to equals to zero, that is it is empty. Answer dot push back minus one. Uh, it cannot be big, right? Uh, even if it is big, it doesn't matter, right? It will be within n. Uh, and n is within 10 to the power five, right? So it is within n, it is given. It is within n. 